Hi guys, we're gonna walk you through this lab. So I'm gonna walk you through part by part. So this is the part where you are creating the instance variables and the constructor. So you can skip ahead if you're looking for something else. So we should have two spheres, each has a whole number. So the spheres should each have a whole number with an x variable and it does not matter what you give the value because you're going to change it in a procedure we'll create later called constructor. You should have another whole number called y. It doesn't matter what you create it. So every sphere, right, this works for a sphere, will have an x and a y. The procedure called constructor will assign set x and set y for those. So right now, we're just going to set x to anything and set y to anything. And here, we should the user should input those values. So in functions, um, there we go, get integer from user. What is the x value? And what is the y value? So, that's really all you need. Now, you should, in my first method, call, notice how I'm clicking on a sphere. We're calling it this, that sphere's constructor. You could click on the other sphere, or you could click on this box here and click on which sphere you're looking on. Call both of those constructors. So the scene should have a sphere info method that given a sphere as a parameter, an object will say that sphere's x and y location. So the sphere, right? Oh, and remember, I had to change this. It's not the sphere has it, the scene has this method. So this is the sphere talk. And in here, how I like to get these to work is get it to work with one sphere. So we can have the panda say the um, just the coordinate plane. So we can say um, the parentheses plus a whole number, and we'll get it to work with this sphere's. Now it's not setting x. We are getting x. And we are separating those with a text, which is a comma and a space. And then we are adding another whole number, which is y. So you have to choose any random number and then change that to a y. And then add a text, which is the closing parentheses. So right now, if we hit run, And in this, we called sphere talk. It'll tell us the sphere of one's coordinate points. So right now it's asking sphere one. So we'll say one, one, and we'll say two, two. So notice he says one, one. We want this to work with a given, means parameter. So give it a sphere. Notice it says sphere here, parameter, and we'll say which sphere. And we can then drag in, and wherever it says this sphere, we're changing it to this which sphere. Once you add a parameter, it's very important to go back to wherever you called that method, and now we're saying which sphere? Okay, this one, and you can right click on this copy it because we want it to say it for sphere in sphere 2. So I'll use the same parameters 1 1 and 2 2 it'll say 1 1 and then 2 2. Beautiful. All right.